Hi, Brian. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I'm just putting in a complaint here. Um, Consumer protection complaint? Or? Well, I guess so. It's against the uh, the uh, the prosecutor of uh, Pierce County. So I know there's a division that uh, that does that sort of thing. We actually don't oversee prosecutors. We have no jurisdiction over city or county municipalities. Not at all. Uh, not even if they are far outside the law. Who watches over these people when they're uh, when they're when they're breaking the law? Well, I've looked everywhere. I know. So have we. We get calls all the time with people that say, you know, we, we want to name our prosecutor. Right. And because they're an elected official, well, he's got. You know, there are I I've got seven different prosecutors that I have to deal with. Well, I mean, they have to deal with everybody. Yeah. I've got several uh, newspaper reports right now yeah. that that within the past few weeks, this guy has been doing the exact same thing to many people. It's a, there is a pattern here. So I mean, isn't there anyone to uh, that that I mean, I this is know. this is crime. These are crimes. We've been doing so I'm here to report a crime. Time. Well, and we don't. You don't. You don't take reports of crime. No, legally we can't. I I know a lot of people don't. I, we get these calls all day long. So I, right. I, um, legally we can act as the attorneys for the state agencies only. We don't have jurisdiction. Oh, so uh, we don't enforce the laws. Yeah. Um, uh, don't the laws. Believe right. that we have the consumer protection issues. That I'm only like you have to say that you have a right to be in the business. Well, these are. This is a private business. They're engaged in a private business, and I have the evidence of that. I have, they're, they're not. They're not a municipal corporation. Okay. Could I could, could then can I put this in? And maybe have you stamp it for me and just give it give it to them. Yeah. You know, okay. So this is my copy. Yeah. Can I, so can I stamp that one too? Seattle. That's your gross faded copy. Yeah. yeah. Just if you could stamp that one for me okay. too. This is for you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So there are Seattle. <coughs> So okay. I'll send it over there today by a law called Mr. Mail. Campus Thank Mail. You. I appreciate that. Do you have your contact information right here? Yes, I do. She's coming along. Okay. So if there's something that they can look into okay. under the Consumer Protection Act, they would call you and let you know. I would like them to call me regardless, if you can, because they're because these people are running a private business, and I have evidence of that. So they, this does fall under that. So if I have to put in something else that that, that verifies well, that. Tell you. Like if, well, they, if, they, if they look at this and they think, okay, this is a valid complaint, right. then they'll, they'll say you need to go online and fill out the actual complaint form okay. versus just providing them with this because there's a process they have to go through. I don't work in that division. Okay. Um, but I would definitely... Um, but they do address complaints. Do you have an email? Yes. Okay. Consumer complaints. So um, they will, based on what the Consumer Protection Act law is, mm -hmm. and that's very complicated. Well, the, the, but the but the but the gist of it is, they have to prove that they are a a, a municipal corporation, and I've already run the FOIAs to show that they are not. They are not a municipal corporation. They are running a business of enslavement, and and it's it's a private business, and I think needs something needs to be done about it. So if they if they would call me, I'd appreciate it. They'll they'll look at it. Okay. They'll either email you or call you. Who's who's the investigator? Can you give me their name? I don't know. Um, because I publicize everything. They have several different ones. Okay. I don't know who would be getting it. Because I need to know who's responsible. You know, that's that's the thing. Nobody nobody wants to be responsible. And I'm chasing down who is responsible uh, so that I can put it out that everyone can see who is responsible or that there is no one responsible, which is what I've run into so far. Well, <coughs> yeah, I'm going to give you their direct their number. Okay. I don't know because they have several different investigators. Okay. So I don't know which one. I wouldn't want to give you one. Oh, okay. Sure. I appreciate um, that. But if you call them and ask, I to write out. Right. Right. No, she will be doing that. So if you're going to out, you can come back and Oh. So their phone lines are only on until 10 Okay. So just call that number, tell them that you dropped off a complaint here, and okay. they will be sending it. Okay. And if you want to know, you know, if they can, they'll give you the name of somebody who would be looking at it and looking for this. You can kind of tell them just a bit. Okay. I like when this goes over, it's okay. Like it's just, I, you know, it's so weird. I've, I've, I've been raised in such a traditional fashion. And when you go to find justice, I mean, I, I expected I would be able to find it. It's really disturbing. I know it's not nothing to do with you. No, but. we hear it all day long. I mean, oh. we get calls all day long. People want to complain about the police department, right. the prosecutors, the city council, the county council. And we do, we spend, just the two of us, because we, we answer the phones for the entire city, we spend about 20 to 30 minutes a day. And so we spend a lot of time on Google looking up information for people. 
and we haven't found anything about prosecution. We've, we've even contacted yeah. the FBI. They have uh, oh, yeah. a, I've sent a division. The Department of Justice yes. too. They have divisions so dedicated to color of law abuse, and yeah. it's, as far as I know, it's falling on deaf ears. Yes, it's very. Yeah, I hear that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Send people to the Department of Justice Civil Investigations Unit, mm -hmm. and then call us right. back and say they want to reach. Right. So, so we're working on it. Yeah. Well, good for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you. Bye.